Okay, so I've started the day. I've got all these doors on. Got all these drawer fronts on, um, including the pull out, that pull out there, and this bin pull out, which are quite nice. They're quite nice, so I've done those. So what we're doing now is I've just set my uh, MFT table up, which I talked about in the first episode. I haven't really, I've used it to death. Loads of cuts in it. Yeah, cut me, cut that already. Yeah, not ideal, but there we go. That's what these are for, to try and stop me cutting into it. But when I was rushing, I've been setting the depth wrong on my me, on me, me saw, so cut into it. But it's, a, it's to use, isn't it? It's not to, not for show. Set this fence up now. I'm not going to actually get a doll this in. I'm not going to use the flag stop things like I talked about because I haven't got time. All I want to do now is use this as a fence square to set against and then stick my um, plinths on it on top of these and then use my track saw then to cut the... Uh, the, the, the fence is off. I was going to get my big chop saw in, but I can't be bothered. I'm just being too lazy today. It's bank holiday after all. Um, and then I'll get my track saw and I'll cut them off to length. And what I'll do then is I will show you how I set my plinths out. It's not, there's no uh, big science about it all. I then you cut it to length, sit it on the floor flat, and then mark my legs, or the amount of legs that I want to put a clip onto. Put it on the bench, screw the clips on. It's that simple, really. So I'll uh, I'll get started, I'll get a plinth cut for you, and then I'll show you what I'm doing. Right, I'm with the blue ones first. Because it's hand-painted, this is actually uh, a veneered MDF, I think. I'll, take, I'll see when I cut it. So what I normally do, it's the full length. This is all bar, probably 100 mil off, cut that end. So it's a little bit awkward, this one, but I'll put that in there like that so it's gone behind both legs. So I know when I put this one in, and this one in, you're not going to see it. And I just simply, let me just put that on that leg, so it sits better. That's it. All I do then is, is simply, like that, just mark it. And then I'll do one on that one. One on that one. One on that one. And then I'll go one in the centre. One on that one. And that is the simplest way to do it. And then all you've got to do then is, is when you put your clips on, which are, are these, a couple of screws, and this clips over the leg. What we're gonna make sure is the body that I've got my fingers and thumb on there doesn't touch that. So you wanna be like that, in that sort of position there. So if you wanted to, you can measure from the top now or the, the bottom, but all I normally do is come about 50 mil down from the top of the plinth to my screws, and the uh, jobs are good. Un. So I'll put that on there, and then I'll uh, clip it in place, and. Cut this one in, cut this one in. The difference with this one is I've got to use a manufactured edge to form this corner, because that's a dummy door just to hide the side of this grained cupboard. So I'll cut that one in, then I'll cut that one tight, and then I'll pocket screw or bracket it from the inside, or probably glue, glue and bracket just in case. Okay, I'll come with that. So I've got my 50 mil um, set up on my combination square, the combination square. And then I'll just mark that now like that. And then I'll put my down. In fact, do that line a bit wider so I can see it when I put my screws in. Like that. Okay. Set. Get nice and prepped, maybe. Screws are, and again, like I said before, just to make sure, 100%, put your screw in, like that. Then just check, you're not gonna go through. Always best to do that. All right, now these are in two parts, these ones. Because there's ones that, um, I don't know if you can see it on there. But there's ones that you put the screw into, like that. Or there's ones that you put, that in, goes into, a, in, knocks into a manufactured groove. I haven't got that, that type on here. So all you do with these, you just snap it off, like that. That fixes on the screw holes now, and then the clip goes into that. So I actually think what I might do is I might move um, this down another 10, 15 mil, so this is a bit further down the plinth, a bit more centre. That's what I might do now. Yeah, so if I set this to 65 instead, I'll do that a bit further down. Like I said before, while well, these, these things, these trend... Now, uh, don't go for the cheap ones because they fall apart. I'll try it myself. You'll fail. Get the trend ones of these. But uh, these are invaluable for doing this kind of thing. You can centre it over your line. 
and then start yourself off like I've showed before. And it just means that you're not going to move your, your screws. Even though it will tolerate some movement, what you don't want is these to go on on the twist because it will just you will end up snapping them off because they're only brittle. From, from this face, because the dishwasher's going there. So I'll level down now from the door to there to get a measurement. Do the same again, drop it flat on the floor, mark where the brackets go and slide that in. And then what I've got to do then is, I'll get um, I'll get an off cut and I'll put the, put the clips onto this leg and sit it on that leg. So then I can measure between the two then, between that one and the face of this one. And then I'll need to show the manufactured edge um, in fact, no, I'll do it the other way. I'll run this through, that to there, cut it inside, marking my legs, and put this one on. So you can't see the, the manufacturing me coming from this way, you can only see it from this direction. So this is your main thoroughfare from the doorway, so I'll do the cut opposite. That's what I'll do now, I'll crack on with that. Got the sink in there ready, that's all framed. I'll fix this, um, this scribe in there now for that, down the side of there, fixed it at the top, which is behind there now. Fix that, the shelf in, or certainly on brackets anyway. Um, cut the shelf into there now for them that they wanted. Just to utilise that space a bit more. And that is me now, I had a bit of a clear up. So I shall leave it for today. And uh, I'll see you in the morning. Come straight in this morning. Started uh, putting all the handles on. I, uh, I haven't showed anything on the video obviously, but uh, all I do is get my set square, little set square again, and I just mark centre of the rail, centre of the rail, drill a small pilot hole first, because it's more accurate, so I get a little one like that first, and then I get the actual drill bit and, and put that through after. I go from both sides. Um, I do put a block at the back of the cupboard so it doesn't break it out, especially with these, because these are... Um, these are a hand painted one, so it would um, it would cause quite a lot of break if you did it all the way through. But I never do that anyway. Always put a block at the back. Um, so yeah, I've put these on. These are all on. I've got left the handles for now. All I'm doing now is is I'm joining these doors together, like that, just with a dowel. Now, this I don't know how old this is. My dad's had this as long as I can as long as I can remember. So all I've done is I've set this. I've already drawn the bottom ones as you can see. So before I put the handles on. I just set this, give myself a, a 25 mil mark there, and then I set that on like that, or in this instance that way. And then I'll line my uh, jig up like that, on the line, and drill a hole. Um, just use um, Brad pointy bit, like that. And I put a bit of tape on to set the depth from this face for the depth to my dowel. And the only, the only pain then is, is you have to, because uh, I'm on my own, put feed it onto that one. Sort of wiggle it down a little bit and then clip the doors back on. But at the minute, touch wood. Uh, it's all been uh, it's all been quite good, quite easy. So I'll carry on through to all of these. We're two handles short, unfortunately, but the customer didn't realise that that was a, a set of double doors. So, um, but I think uh, Chase did that, so it matches nice with this. Which 100% that I agree with that one. So I've used the two handles to finish these wall cupboards off. Um, so yeah, I'll carry on through now. Depending what uh, time I stop today, because it is uh, Bank Holiday Friday today, I may even get um, get these on, and then I may start looking at corners and palmet as well. But we'll see. Okay, I've set out my first uh, pull handle, so I'll show you exactly how I did it now. First of all, width of this, width of that rail, and I've marked it on in this instance here because I've got the opportunity to do so because no worktop. 
on the top of the cupboard. So that there, from that line there to there, is the same width as the rail. I've then established what it is between screws. In this instance, 64 mil. So that's one measurement. So let's write that down just so I can show you what I'm doing. 64 mil there, that's the handle. Handle centers. I then worked out from here to here is 11 and three quarters. Gone imperial because it was easier. And marked it on there. This I can just wipe off on there. I then worked out the measurement from there. Oh, get it sent out from there to there. And then when it's on there, if you imagine that's sitting on there, so imagine that's the rail now from that line there to there. I then worked out that the even gap from there is 13 mil from there to there. I hope you're still with me. So, next thing you need to do, I've measured from there to the centre of my screw hole, from here to the centre of the screw. And all I did then was, and I actually on this one, you can probably still see the pencil on there. Oh, too close. I marked a pencil on there, look. And actually sat it on my drawer just to make sure to set my jig out. So, oh, I don't say that, I'll just rub off, look. Um, and then what I did, I got to, got my 13 mil on here. So I get my camera right, I'm trying to do things at once. So I got my central from there to there, which is 13 mil. And then, like I said, I marked my, my, uh, thread on, which is about that. So in a, let's imagine that I did that like that. So I got pushes in far off, look, just a good guess. And then I um, got this, this bit of, bit, of, bit of timber then, transferred the measurements that I'd got then from here to there, which is gonna be, if you imagine that's gonna sit on there like that, look. So I transferred the measurement I'd got then from here to here from there to there, because it's the same measurement, because when that goes in there, look, you'd ima we're imagining that this is the top, this is imitating the top of the drawer. And then from the center line then, which I have transferred all the way around, look. From the center line, I then got, went 32 mil either side, because that's 64 mil center, remember? And then uh, drill the hole, but I've gone for the finest one, because if you use a big one, you won't be able to use MDF, because it'll just rag it. So I'll get a fine drill first, and then at least you'll be able to use that on the other drawers then because that won't rag the hole out. It's okay, but it's one of these jigs and it's, uh, it's a metal insert, it doesn't, doesn't matter, but because I'm using this, it does. So I've done that then. All I did then was, just to make sure 100%, is I put that on there. I drilled the, I mean, if you've got a scrap of wood, you could do it differently. You could actually drill this on a scrap of wood. You could actually fit your handle and make sure it sits centre as you wanted to. But all I did, I just got my handle on there and then I just put a little mark on the door as well, where I thought it was centre, and then got my jig and checked it. Um, and then, as you can see, that's perfectly centre. That's how I did it. I hope that sort of helped you out, just to set yourself up a little scrap bit of wood. You can you can get loads of, loads of uh, handle jigs and things, but to be honest, in this instance, I don't think you need to. That's just as simple. Um, just like using a combination square for those. Because these rails are central, combination square, centre, centre, and you can use it to mark that way, use it to mark that way, draw your hole. But always remember to stick to a fine one first. I know it's double the work, but if you stick to a fine drill, it's a lot more accurate. You can get dead on your hole, or you can use um, a little hole punch if you wanted to on your square. Um, so imagine that was, your, that was your square on your door. You get a little hole punch and dunk it first. And at least that'll sit in the centre, but do that. Then put your, your big one through. Um, and in most instances, you can actually just drill the hole a little tiny bit bigger, so you've got a little bit of wiggle room. But if you take your time, use a fine one first, it's a lot more accurate. Any questions, stick it in the comments, I'll answer if you need me to. No bother. I'm going to leave it there now and go and have a couple of hours at the bank holiday today. Handles are all on, as you can see. They're looking really nice. The copper guy's ever so nice with, me, with that, with that blue especially. But it does go really nice with the, uh, the grey as well. So I'll be back on Monday because I've got to uh, go to the loft job when the inspector comes and have a chat with uh, with them regarding a few things. There's about 10 steels to go in that. Um, so we need to make sure we, we are where we are and we're doing what we should be doing. So when we come to get signed off, it's all correct. So I should be back on Monday. I'll set myself up then for the corners of Palmy 
I've had a good tidy up and get rid of everything as much as I can. And then we'll uh, we'll get to, get to doing that and get finished. And then when Chase get here at some point, we'll get the remainder of these two doors on, get the panel finished on the on the boiler cupboard. And the appliances come on Tuesday, I think. So we'll get that door on, on the appliance. And then I think the spark is coming in the next week. All will be wired and all good to go. Right. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and the notification bell ready for the next episode.